I mean, I'm going to close all the databases so that we can proceed with the next exercise. The next exercise is to identify and review all credit notes. And this is meant to help us uh, analyze whether those credit transactions or those uh, adjustments to our accounts receivable are in fact valid. So this is for, for validity, accuracy, and uh, valuation purposes in, in, an audit, um, in an audit exercise. So we can do this uh, several ways. We can create more views. Uh, and this is like creating a query in Access or creating a view in SQL, where you'll be able to call it anytime and it always gives you the same uh, criteria, or you can uh, apply simply a criteria that happens to be um, um, happens to be temporary in purpose uh, in 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 um, in essence. So anyway, I had just done it before, so let's let's just do it again. So the exercise is calling us to do a selection of all those records that have a type C. So I'm going to see type C. Um, and apply and validate and it's going to give me all of these records notice that i'm showing 34 records out of 253 and that's it you can see that all of those are negative transactions i can take a look at this and it's the same as as when we saw negative stuff almost uh, i thought i had seen more exercises i mean more records with with negative amounts so why don't we just do that why don't we just clear this criteria uh, and then we can just clear it and we can add another criteria that says, um, why don't just look at the amount, the gross amount should be less than zero. So if I validate that, now I'm looking at 44 transactions. So I can see that the number of records that are meant to be credit records are uh, 34, but then I have 44 records um, that include category P. So these are payments that have not been applied, right? So I would love to see what this invoice is, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the invoice number, et cetera, and see if I can um, find out if they had been um, payments that have been applied. Uh, so I, let me take a, a few samples, 0079, 4683, um, 46109. And I'm sure we could do that later on. Uh, I could do another criteria that says um, invoice amount is equal to 46079. And this is a text field. So let me you see it. So you see that there's an invoice and then there's a payment. And it's, it's not reflected. It's not reflected whatsoever. So there is a problem with the way we're allocating. There's a problem with the way they're recording payments uh, in, 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 in our mind. So if this was just a payment that was not allocated appropriately, then that needs to be um, noted. And we need to let our client know that some of these records are not correct. Notice that I, um, that I can switch this. And it does not create a view once again, um, but I can still see the history of stuff that's happening. See, there's a, a, a transaction with with these would worry me, right? Like the original invoice was thirteen dollars and eighty five cents, yet I get a an adjustment of thirty five oh nine. It's a payment, so this is probably not a properly applied payment, and I would immediately bring this to the attention of of my client. Um, and so that's very valuable in terms of accuracy, the validity of this. This is not an accounts receivable anymore. And even though this is the value is going to be reduced regardless, I am questioning why this 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 payment is for 235. So it's possible that client number R025 may have other invoices that have not been paid and they're going to be flat. So if I turn around and, and, and go to 120 days, I may consider this to be an uncollectible item. Then I write it off, send the client a letter. This is a problem. And so we need to let our client know that this is going on. All right, basically, uh, that is it. So let's make sure that we just uh, uh, go back to the, by the way, the history can be um, done here as well. Um, uh, but let's just, let's just go ahead and, 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 and go back to the data. I'm going to switch this to negative zero instead, the way it's supposed to be.
because I got a little carried away with my analysis. And um, I'll print screen that, and that should be our only um, requirement for this assignment.